If you can hear me and you're in the chat, please say something. Uh, type something in the chat. Whenever you join. I'm here. All right. People can hear me. That's great. So I have absolutely no idea what happened. Uh, apparently there was some kind of uh, push or something. I, I don't know what happened, but um, I was there was something wrong with the audio. So I, uh, I turned the stream off. I turned it back on. Um, and then anyway, technical, technical issues. So um, we have a couple options here. Um, it's been an hour. I'm still ready to go. I'm ready to stream. If you guys are willing to bear with me here, uh, we, can, we can still do this. Um, unfortunately, I won't have all of the cool, fancy... Um, I won't have all the cool, fancy uh, border and stuff on my screen because um, all of my settings got deleted. So all of my pictures... Everything that uh, I was doing, all my borders, all that stuff was uh, was all wiped out. So I'm literally, as I'm chatting with you, going to have to uh, create a uh, a new scene here and um, and get some get that thing rolling. So if you guys are willing to bear with me for another minute, I can get this camera uh, situated here. And uh, uh, yes, you will physically be able to see the. Let me just um, uh, let me just uh, post on the Renegade uh, on the watch my call it. You know. Uh, the Facebook page and let everybody know because I don't want people to miss out on the stream uh, because of technical issues. Um, and I will have to resolve this, obviously, by next time. I'll have to get all of my uh, imaging and stuff up. So uh, you're going to lose picture for just a second. Uh, hopefully you can still hear me. Uh, and I'm going to add my other camera here uh, so that you can see my table. Uh, let's see here, audio, video, capture device, that's what we want. And we want to click on that. Uh, we need a new source. So we're going to add that. And let's add my top-down camera here. Nope, definitely not that camera. We need this camera here. Oh, yes, fun times. Uh, no, not today. This, uh, this has not been an enjoyable experience <laughs> at all. Um, if someone wouldn't mind doing me a favor while I get this situated, if someone could post in the, um, if somebody could just post in the Facebook group that, that we are back and we are live, uh, that way I can get this secondary camera situated here. I don't want to lose audio. I don't think I will if I unplug this thing right here. Oh, you guys are going to hear some of, the, some of that lovely stuff, but I can actually mute my desktop there so you don't hear all that nonsense. That's good. Uh, and I need to make sure that I get my... Why is this camera not working? video. Thanks, Brasm. Uh, I don't know why this, uh, <laughs> um, Capture audio only. I don't. No, I don't want it to even capture audio. Let's see. Let's, let's delete this. 
So I got my main camera working. Uh, obviously, you guys can see me here. Um, and now my secondary camera, uh, which is the, let's see, display capture. Nope. We definitely want the video capture here. Add source. New source. All right, so um, I don't know why my secondary camera is not working. So uh, what I am going to do, uh, again, because I really want to do this stream tonight, is I'm going to move this camera. All right, you can see some hands here. Um, so let me flip this guy around because uh, you need, I need to be able to, you're looking at that upside down, right? Let's see. Yeah, you're looking at that upside down. So let me flip this around. Nope. Yep, there you go. All right, we're rocking and rolling. We don't have anything fancy, uh, so we don't have our fancy border. You're not going to see my face, uh, but you can see the table, which is the most important part um, because this is uh, – well, I don't know if it's a great job because I, I got one camera not working. I got my stream settings all jacked up. This is going to take forever in a day to fix. I guess it's – in this case, it's a good uh, – it's a good thing that we... Somebody said something about purple. So the purple mystery is over, yes. Uh, RJ is the mysterious purple ranger. So uh, here we have, um, for the first time ever, you're seeing the plastic colored version of uh, RJ. Um, this is not the model we're going to be painting tonight because I have one more... Um, I have one more model that is uh, resin that I'm going to um, – one more resin model that I'm going to paint. So we're going to paint the resin model instead of the plastic one just because painting resin is more fun. And, um, you know, I have 25 plastic models that I'm going to have to paint. So the resin model that we will be painting is uh, this one right here. Um, I do apologize for any shadowing or this is not the normal camera that I use and it's not the normal setting. So uh, this is what we have to use and this is what we have to go with. So uh, maybe it will create some cool uh, lighting stuff. But anyway, here he is, Jungle Fury, Wolf Ranger, uh, RJ. Uh, I'm very excited to paint this model uh, specifically because um, – you know, purple is not a color that we get to paint very often in um, in the Power Ranger game. So uh, the fact of the matter that we're not having to paint red or blue or yellow or any of those um, other colors that we normally use, um, it gives us something different. So uh, that's why I'm most excited to paint this. Also, it's one of my favorite poses of any of the Rangers. Uh, that have been released so far, so that's kind of exciting. 
Um, I do have a photo somewhere saved on my computer after my 35,000 uh, restarts here that I downloaded of, there he is, RJ. Uh, so I have all the color schemes right. So uh, thank you guys. Thank you for bearing with me. Thank you for sticking out these technical difficulties. Um, I've not had an issue streaming before, and I've been doing this for, uh, you know, I think it's about a year now, uh, maybe a little more than a year. Uh, so I do apologize for that. Um, not it was, it was kind of unavoidable. So, um, or at least there's nothing I could have done differently, I don't think. But it's a learning experience. So... Enough about me, let's talk about this model. Um, primary colors here, we're gonna have purple, obviously. Uh, it looks like some silver, some white, uh, and some of my favorite color, German gray. And um, you do not have to worry about that. Um, Darbeck 17. Uh, I'm always worried with minis uh, that stand on one leg. Uh, you're worried that they're going to be easily broken. Uh, this is resin, so this would break very easily, but I can tell you that, um, you know, the just looking at that there, I'm holding the base very securely. I'm not getting any warping or anything like that on the leg. Um, this leg, uh, the leg is very thick. It's not a thin... Uh, his ankle's not thin. There's nothing thin about the leg here. So you will, I mean, unless you're super rough with your models, I don't think that you are going to have to uh, worry about, uh, you're, you're not going to have to worry about that. So, um, okay. Uh, let's see, for purple, I think we're going to use um, uh, Xerxes purple. It's kind of close-ish to the base color of the uh, of the plastic. I got all my brushes. See, I was ready I was ready for the for the stream. I wasn't ready for the for the technical issues, dang it. Uh, so let's give our paint uh, a little shake here and uh, we will get started with uh, our base colors. Uh, we're gonna go pretty heavy on the purple uh, because it's uh, it's a great color to paint with. Uh, but it's also very easy to paint with, so uh, I'm not going to have to worry about covering up certain things. Uh, yeah, you do not have to worry about these models breaking. Um, with with plastic like this, uh, the type of plastic that Renegade uses for their models, uh, you are not going to have uh, an issue with breaking, especially if you're not uh, super rough with your models. Um, it's not a hard plastic like uh, other games that uh, I paint. So, and uh, and again, the the uh, the joint where you would be painting, uh, I'm sorry, the joint where you would be worried about it breaking, is not thin in this case. So, uh, a female leg who you know was wearing shorts for example so it was skin i could see the worry um if it was like this because the ankle you know the the lady's leg would be thin and the the ankle would be a weak spot but for this ranger here i don't think you're gonna have a problem again it's not like other games um you know i'll give you an example uh marvel crisis protocol uh, that's a pretty popular miniatures game right now. They tend to really put a uh, an emphasis on pose, uh, but the problem therein lies that you will have uh, issues with weak uh, contact points that are very easily uh, broken. Uh, so, like I said, we're using Xerxes uh, Xerxes purple for uh, for the primary base color purple here. Um, I'm going to uh, be referencing my pictures here. Um, he actually has not nearly as much purple uh, on the, his lower extremities here. Uh, he does have some purple on the feet, so I'm going to make sure I get that. 
using a size uh, 2 brush. This is my currently my favorite brush, Raphael's um, size 2 uh, acrylic brush. Uh, I, of course, have my wet palette off to the left here. I say, of course, if you're new to my stream, welcome. Uh, I use a wet palette from uh, Redgrass uh, Games. I think that's what they're called, Redgrass Games. And uh, it's called the Everlasting Wet Palette. And it really is everlasting. I've been using this. Uh, this is my uh, second straight month using it. Um, and I have yet to fill it up. And I have yet to change the water. There's no mold. Some of the paints that I used a month ago uh, on this wet palette are still wet, which is awesome. Uh, I don't know that I would use those, um, but yeah, I could, I guess, if I wanted to. Uh, okay. Making sure that I keep my paints uh, wet. Uh, or keep them, I shouldn't say wet, keep them diluted. Uh, let's see. He has some really wicked, cool, um, uh, I guess they're like arm bandanas. They're pretty sweet. Uh, this picture that I'm looking at is making it very difficult to tell the colors on his arms. I'm gonna have to I'm gonna have to look into that some more. Right now I'm just trying to get good coverage of the purple. Um Purple is one of my favorite colors to paint, uh, so not nearly a uh, an issue for me. Just really my issue with this model is just going to be making sure I get the pink colors in the right <laughs> spot. The right colors to go in the right places. Um, because on this photo, let's see if I can... Jungle Wolf Ranger, here we go. There's some really great comic art, um, some great art from the um, Battle uh, Battle for the Grid uh, video game. Also some cool cosplay um, photos of people cosplaying as the... Uh, Jungle Fury Wolf Ranger here. It looks like like up to his arm is purple. And then there's a seam that goes under his arm. And then the top part of his sleeve is black. And then the bottom part of his sleeve under his cool arm bandanas is, um, is silver. Or at least it looks like a silver to me. It might be white. I might need to get y'all's opinion on that. Let's check the chat. Uh, it's so it'll be so badass if the Lunar Wolf Ranger will also be in this Allies pack. Any chance of a reprint of any of the older Power Ranger expansions? I'm sure that they they will. Um, are they out of stock? I was not aware of anything not currently being in stock, uh, needing a reprint. Unless you mean like them making alternate sculpts of older rangers, which uh, they have already done a bunch of. Um, oh, Atomic already. Let us know. Thanks. Uh, how do you keep your paints diluted at the right consistency? My paints just get super soggy over time on the wet palette and turn into just bad, bad washes. Uh, that to me tells me that your wet palette is too wet, if that's happening. 
Um, it also could it could be the type of um, the type of paper that you're using on top of the wet palette. Um, so with the with the red grass um, with the red grass wet palettes that they have, um, they are uh, they come with their own type of paper. Um, so you don't use. Yeah, you see, he's got two armbands on this arm, but in the picture, he only has one. Unless I'm just blind. This is, this arm over here, looks like this is all, hmm, I'll have to investigate and look at some more pictures. Next. Next. Oh, here's a good one over the side. Oh, see, in some pictures, he's got, like, elbow pads. He doesn't have... We might need to do some improvisation, which I think is what we're going to do, just in the interest of saving some time. So I'm going to just take some liberties here around the elbow area. Not the whole model, just around the elbow area. Um, what was I talking about? Oh, so red grass, the um, the paper that they send with the uh, with the wet palette is is made specifically for this particular wet palette. Um, if you're use depending on what maybe it's the brand of uh, paper that you're using on your wet palette, it could be. Um, you know that it's just too thin, so too much water is getting through. Um, keep in mind that a wet palette is not supposed to thin your paints. It's just supposed to keep your paints wet longer. It's not there. It's not meant to keep them wet forever, and it's not meant to dilute your paints. You should still be diluting your paints on your own. So if your wet palette is so wet that it's diluting your paints, then to me it sounds like you have too much water or your, um, you know, maybe your paper is just too thin. Uh, that's my initial thoughts anyway. Um, Tommy Expansion is currently sold out. Yeah, I'm sure that that will come back. Um, I actually have one that I should do a giveaway for. I have, a, I have one that's um, unopened that I've been talking about doing a giveaway for forever. And uh, I just have not had the opportunity to do that. Um, if somebody in the community, if I could get somebody in the community to help me run that, uh, I could get that out uh, quicker. That'd be pretty cool. Uh, let's see what else we got here. What color is this prime? Thank you for asking, Power Ranger Fan 30, um, because normally I would tell you that, and I didn't this time, thanks to our good friend, Technical Difficulties. Um, this is primed with uh, GW Wraithbone. Uh, so this is Wraithbone's uh, Games Workshop spray which is what i prime 95 percent of my models with the only time i don't use that is if i am uh, batch painting if i'm painting like a whole army or something like that uh, foot soldiers stuff like that i will not use wraith bone or if i don't want the color to be white ish Right now I'm just getting the purple where I need the purple. Um, based off of the photos, he's got a couple more armbands on the model than he does in the photos. So I'm doing a little bit of uh, liberties here. I need to put an extra coat of purple on the chest area because it's looking a little splotchy. Um, but this is such a great purple. 
if uh, if you enjoy painting with Games Workshop paints, uh, I will never I, I will never paint shame anyone. Uh, some people like painting with Army Painter. Some people like painting with uh, Games Workshop. Some people like painting with um, P3. Um, of those, P3 is my least favorite. Um, but I don't paint shame. So, uh, but my reasoning for saying that is if you do enjoy painting with Games Workshop, uh, Xerxes Purple should definitely be in your paint arsenal. It's just the best purple to work with. Flow's nice, very rich. It's dark enough to be a dark purple without, in my opinion, needing whatever the darker version is. Nagaroth Knight, I guess, is the darker purple. I think that's just too much, unneeded. I think this works great as a base and a highlight. Um, hopefully we'll have time to do some highlights. And uh, you'll see what I mean. Um, all right. Getting some nice purple color there. Needing to go back to my... Where did my picture go? There he is. Uh, yeah, so, so on his helmet and on his gauntlets and on his shin guard things, they look... In the photo, they look all silver. The lining on his uniform, uh, like here... And, well, I guess you guys can't really see the, the lining very much, but the lining on the uniform, uh, to me in the photo, looks white. But then some other photos, sorry, I'm getting this a little closer. Some other photos look like um, they could possibly, he could, it could possibly be silver. So let me know in the comments if you think that the lining on his uniform is white or if it's silver. Uh, and you'll know what I mean when you look at a picture of him. It could just be my eyes because I'm blinded by these bright lights that I've got next to me. Right now I'm painting the little purple squares on his shoulder. When we get to the black, we'll be using German gray instead of black. And that allows us to shade and highlight if we f choose to do so. If you use straight black when painting a black area, uh, you will struggle to get good contrast because there are no shades of black darker than black. Black is black is black. So um, by using a lighter color like German gray, it allows you to create shading and highlights that you would not otherwise be able to do with straight black. Uh, that's just a little bit of uh, Daddy Louie knowledge for you. The lining is white. The gauntlets knee pads are silver. Uh, Rust-Oleum Flat White Primer, will that work? Yes. Rust-Oleum Flat White Primer is a great, um, is a great primer. I will tell you the reason that I don't use it, and the sole reason that I don't use it, is um, because no matter how long you go letting it dry, it's always going to be sticky. So for example, if I were to prime this model here, you can see I prime my models on my paint holders, right? So when I'm doing a model, and I'm only doing, if I, again, if I'm batch painting, that is not the same as what I'm talking about now. But if I'm painting one or two models, I put the model on my paint stand, and then I go outside and I spray, you know, the primer on. And I do it on here for that reason, because I have control of the model. If I were to stick it onto a piece of board or something like that, I have less control where the spray paint goes. So um, I always do it on, on these little paint stands. And you can see when I'm painting the model, look where my hand is. It's on that paint stand. Now, with this, uh, with this type of paint from Games Workshop, I can touch this, and it doesn't get on my hands. If I had primed this in white Rust-Oleum, 
there would be white paint all over my hands and then I risk touching the model and the white getting on it. It's happened dozens of times. And that is the sole reason that I don't use Rust-Oleum. Um, if I, you know, any, any, anything else, and I would, any other, um, you know, way of priming it, if you can figure out a way to do it without ever touching it, Rust-Oleum works great. Um, I have cans and cans of it in the other room. And I do it for all my batch painting. So if I were to do foot soldiers or whatever, then uh, then I would do that as well. But that's the single reason why I don't use Rust-Oleum a lot. Uh, because it gets everywhere. At least that's my experience with it. All right, everybody's saying silver and white. So that is good to know. Uh, white is another color very, very similar to black that uh, I don't use straight white um, when painting at least my base colors. Um, again, because white is, uh, you can't get anything brighter than white. So, again, highlighting if you use uh, just white as your one and only color when you, when painting white that has uh that has that issue uh it goes the same with black so when painting black uh we use german gray from vallejo uh it's a nice dark gray uh it's almost like a charcoal gray there are equivalents through gw i just find that german gray is my favorite um from Vallejo when it comes to that. And again, it allows us to shade and highlight black um, in ways that we would not be able to do if we just use straight black. For white, we use Althuan Gray. Uh, that is, uh, again, for a very similar reason to using, sorry, I'm having to be very careful with this helmet here. Um, same reason that we do uh, the the German gray uh, because with white uh, we can't you can't get any brighter than white so by using something that's uh, a little darker than white it allows us to highlight white much much better um, okay so need to paint his hands his fingers, I should say, not his hands. His fingers are purple. So his fingers and his toes are purple. And his hands and his feet are silver. Uh, inside of the ears look black to me in the picture. That's, uh, that's what I'm going to go with anyway. The picture that I'm looking at. Uh, but my eyes are... When I'm, uh, when I'm painting on stream with these bright lights, uh, because I can't put the model really, really close to my face, because obviously I need to try and keep the model in camera view as much as possible. Um, it... it kills my eyes because I can't I can't see <laughs> so then when I look up and I look at my screen my computer monitor to look at the pictures I'm like oh man I can't see anything yes they are a shiny German gray Uh, I'm really glad that this worked out. I've been looking forward for months painting this model. Uh, of the original five models that Renegade sent me, uh, this was far and away my favorite, and uh, lo and behold, they left it for last um, for me to paint. So I've been itching to paint it for months, uh, knowing that it was sitting here, and uh, I was really upset when the, when the stream was not working so i'm glad it worked out i'm glad that we're getting getting stuff done again i apologize for not having the 
fancy overlay on the screen and uh, the ability to uh, see my gorgeous face while I'm painting. Uh, and I, uh, you know, there probably won't be a fancy outro. Maybe Renegade can drop one in uh, afterwards. But uh, I do sincerely apologize for all of those hiccups. And I will work tirelessly to figure out what the issue was uh, later. <laughs> right now, we're just having fun painting, uh, painting this purple wolf ranger here. Um, and I appreciate all of your patience. And all right. Just getting a nice coat of purple on there uh, because we won't be throwing shade haha <laughs> won't be throwing shade uh, over this purple and we want to make sure that our purple color is really nice and bright and consistent so just going over some of the spots that we did earlier around these legs here uh, the feet before we move on to uh, a different color I wish I could show you all the figures I have uh, there's a lot of them, uh, and I did get my schedule for the remainder of the year as of now. Um, so I know what I'll be painting next, and uh, that's pretty cool. All right, well, that's all the purple parts. Uh, most of the white that you see on the model is about to become a completely different oh wait no it's not i forgot a leg <laughs> i forgot a leg look at that i forgot this leg i was so focused on trying to get up to the helmet and the way that the pose is This part of the leg needs to be purple as well. Uh, who in the chat has played the um, uh, has played the fighting game, the PlayStation and Xbox fighting game? It's actually a lot of fun, and um, the. Uh, the Wolf Ranger, he's uh, really good. He's a good character to play as. Yeah, I think it's called Battle f Battle for the Grid or Battle of the Grid, something like that. Uh, so I cleaned my brush, thinking I was done, and now my brush is really wet, and of course the paint is very thin. So I'm gonna have to come back to that purple in a minute. Yeah, Battle for the Grid. I haven't played in a while, so I haven't gotten any of the new characters. It's on my Switch. I need to re-download it and see how much like the new characters are. Because um, I know that they just came out with, or are about to come out with, uh, Ryu and Chun-Li from um, Street Fighter. Um, but I know, I know that Wolf is, uh, RJ, he's, uh, he's in it, and he's very good in the game. Yeah, maybe when I'm 
Maybe when I'm done with this, after the stress of everything working, because I'm not going to troubleshoot anymore tonight. I'm going to wait and troubleshoot a different day. i got to figure out what the issue was. Um, maybe I'll go upstairs and fire up the... Fire up the old switch there. and uh, So we're using German Grey. Uh, again, it's from Vallejo. And uh, this is going to be for all of the quote-unquote black areas. Uh, we don't need to be super careful uh, because the, uh, you know, we're not to the final steps of... Um, tightening up our paint job. Normally, when I'm painting for you guys and I'm painting uh, German gray or black areas, uh, the, the areas that I'm painting are very small. Uh, this model has a lot of space, so maybe, especially on the finished pro uh, product, you'll be able to see the difference of how German gray looks to black. Maybe not. In person, to the eye, it makes a huge difference. But of all of the paint colors, and most of you know this by now if you've been following me, uh, of all the colors, German Gray is my favorite. It used to not be. My favorite paint used to be um, Evil Sun Scarlet or Mephiston Red. Mephiston Red used to be my favorite color. I used to love painting with red. Red, purple, black, blue, uh, gray. I love painting those colors. What's everybody been watching on TV lately? What's the new hotness to watch right now? I've been watching um, Designated Survivor on Netflix. That's uh, that's what we're in the process of binging right now. This camera setup is not ideal for streaming. Or, well, it's ideal for streaming. It's not ideal for painting. Because this camera has to be so close. super cool uh, let's see what what else we got up here uh, now they need to add reuse ranger to super smash bros scorpina uh, cross platform oh that'd be cool if they are um, if they do do cross platform Oh, yeah, I, I saw, I've seen, like, the first four episodes of Invincible. I just haven't finished it yet. Yeah, I wasn't a fan of Lucifer. I started watching it, and then 
it just got kind of uh, repetitive. Um, all right, so his pants, these diamonds uh, next to his pants, they're all black. Uh, now is going to be the very tough part, which is the uh, chest area. Um, so bear with me if I'm not talking a lot. It's only because uh, the spaces are very thin. Uh, and I want to make him look nice. I keep bringing the uh, model closer to my face. His, um, I don't, maybe I can show you on the purple here, but uh, so he's got these lines, the outline of his uniform is very distinct, and the black area, uh, or the part that you have to paint black, is very, very thin. It's like right in there. see that it's very thin so that's why I'm like ha keep bringing the model close to my face uh, and then I'm like oh wait it's not in shot anymore and I of course could bring my face closer to the model but then uh, I'm far away from my microphone so it's like I can't win no matter what I do Wish me luck here, guys. This is uh, little bits, little teeny tiny bits. And the way that his arms are up in the air, like in, in fighting stance, these little crevices like in the arm pits and stuff like that, that's what's, that's what's, that's the challenging part. That's the part that I'm, I'm challenged with right now. I think maybe no okay there's one more spot just 
Sorry, I know it's not on stream right now. Just give me one second. Bear with me. I am... Um, All right, he's back. Um, how do you spell the purple color you used? Um, it is spelled. Um, can you see that? No, you can't. Uh, X E R E U S. I say Xerxes, but it, that's probably not what it is. Maybe it is. Uh, Xerxes purple. Um, all right. Let me go back for a brief moment to purple. Um, that is to allow some of the German gray to um, dry, as well as to hit this leg again uh, with another coat. And the helmet, I'm noticing, is... A little splotchy, so I just want to make sure that I let me get that as well. Especially because we got to take the German gray to the helmet. The thing I love about painting the most is um, that final step. So, like, obviously putting the uh, putting the base colors on, like now, it's, uh, you know, it's a little tedious, uh, kind of a lot of work, um, and it looks sloppy. But as we start to put those final details on, as we start to do some highlights, and the models really uh, come together, uh, the model really comes together, uh, it just, that's just the most satisfying thing. Um, normally I'm an instant gratification kind of person, and when it comes to painting, there is little instant gratification, especially if you want to put the work in to make it look great. Uh, so I'm putting some German Grey on the chest piece here. His little, uh, lightning bolt is... It's much more defined on the plastic model. You'll notice here it just kind of looks like a splotch on his chest. Uh, I'm going to try and neaten that up with the, uh, with the outline. But if you look on the, uh, on the plastic model, it's much more, uh, much more defined. Remember, when you're looking at these resin models, these aren't uh, necessarily the final the final form, if you will. Uh, if you remember back to the In Space Silver Ranger that we looked at on last stream, uh, you could see very clearly the differences uh, in the in the final product versus the versus the other product. So, looking at his helmet, it looks like the only black parts are his ears and his visor. So, he also has a, um, a morpher on his arm. And to me, that looks almost like there's some gold. Would it be worth priming in German gray, or would it make the model too dark for the... I mean, you could always... Um, I am always of the mindset, and, and, and maybe it's just me. I, like, work harder, not smarter. Uh, I'm the opposite, you know? So I, I do things the more difficult way. Um, so in this case, if you were to have primed the model in a darker color, maybe in black or in German gray. Um, yeah, probably would have been significantly easier. Uh, but Louis doesn't do easy, apparently. 
again, batch painting. Um, again, I'll use an example like Games Workshop. If I were painting a squad of Space Marines and I was doing them in blue, I would prime the models blue. If I were painting a leader like Marnius Calgar or, you know, uh, Gilliman, I would paint, I would prime it in Wraithbone and do the whole thing from scratch. And that's, again, that's just me wanting to, I don't know if it's part of the experience. Hopefully it's more entertaining to watch. Um, but to answer your question, yes. Uh, why is it you paint the resin figures instead of the plastic ones you are given? In this particular case, um, because when Renegade initially sent me the models... Uh, they sent me five resin pre-production models because they did not have the plastic models done yet. When they sent me the plastic models, uh, initially I didn't realize that the resin models that I already had, that their plastic version was in the containers that they gave me. Um, so they sent me 29 models in this last shipment, five of which were the models that I already had. And um, I personally like painting resin just a little bit better than plastic. So uh, since this is my last resin model, I just decided to go ahead, and I painted all the other resin models, I just decided to go ahead and paint this one. Going forward after today's stream, all of the models, at least for the foreseeable future, that you see me paint, will be uh, plastic because that's what I have. That's what they gave me. Um, all right, so I got some base colors down on the helmet there. Uh, I will touch those up a little bit later. Now I'm going to go into the silver, so the gauntlets, the boots, the shin uh, or the, the knee pads, and some of the helmet stuff. And we're going to use Lead Belcher. It's our favorite silver. That sound that you hear is my paint mixer. Do not be confused. <laughs> Superman and Lois on the CW is pretty good. I've seen it posted, I believe, on, I don't know, what did they have it on? Is it on HBO, maybe? I think that's where all the DC stuff is. Well, that just went flying. Here, little paint thing. I just dropped the top to my uh, to my little nozzle thing here. I can't get it, so I'll just grab the other one. I'll just grab a new one. Um. All right. So, lead belcher from Games Workshop onto my palette. Not on HBO anymore. It must have just taken it off because it was like literally just there. I thought. There's another show that I started watching on um, on HBO called uh, oh what's it called Mayor of Easton and uh, that's an excellent show not for the kiddos but uh, 
if you want to watch it with uh, your significant other or whatever, it's very, very good. Um, Kate Winslet is the main actress, and she just... It's crazy to me how she just... Yeah, you just got to watch it. She just does, like, an outstanding job. Very, very good. Uh, I also recently binge-watched Demon Slayer on Netflix uh, with my son and then took him to the uh, movie theater to see the movie. If you are... Uh, a fan of anime in any way. Uh, 10 out of 10 would recommend. Very, very, very good. The animation style is just, like, mind-blowing how good it is. Normally do not water down my metallic paints. This paint may need to be watered down a little bit. Because this is really thick. Holy smokes. Holy Toledo. Holy Toledo. It needs a little bit of water. There we go. <laughs> Star Girl used to be on HBO, not anymore. I've heard good things about Star Girl. Uh, I have not watched it yet, but I have heard. It's very good compared to the other CW shows. Uh, in the past, there have been CW shows that I've really enjoyed. Um, and then they just seem to like go downhill really quickly. Um, first three seasons of The Flash were excellent. Um... The first couple seasons of Arrow were excellent. Uh, the first season of Supergirl was excellent. And then, I don't know what it is. They just all seem to... Uh, I don't know. I don't know what happens. And then they just get crazy, right? And then they do all these crazy crossovers and... If you're not watching all the shows, you don't know what the heck's going on. And the one show I didn't even ever watch at all, the one about the what was the name of the other one? I didn't mention it. Basically, the one I didn't mention. Tomorrowland people or something like that. I didn't even watch that. Yeah, there must have been some kind of, like, HBO's done with the DC stuff already. Which DC was, like, they had their own thing, and then HBO came out, and then everything was on HBO, and now it's all gone again, huh? All right, let's see. Let me put a little bit of uh, silver paint on his foot claws here. I think that makes it really pop.
Tomorrowland people. Legend, oh, Legends of Tomorrow. <laughs> Tomorrowland people sounds better. <laughs> um, so on his chest, the outline on his chest, see, um, some pictures, the, the lightning bolt thing on his chest is silver, but I don't think that's right. No, I guess it's not. It's always black. But is the outline silver or is the outline white? Very, very tough to tell on the photos I'm looking at. Silver is very quickly becoming like my least favorite color to paint. Tomorrowland people. Let's make a show. We'll call it Tomorrowland people. And it will be about... I don't know. What should it be about? People that... Did I say Tomorrowland people? I did say Tomorrowland people. It's actually not a lightning bolt. Their claw marks. Hmm. I guess I can kind of see that now in the photo. It looks awful lot uh, like awful lot like a lightning bolt to me. Just saying. <laughs> Flip this around to get the back side of these gauntlets here. Cool. Whenever I'm painting a Power Ranger model, I am just so grateful at how well Renegade has done to make the models a heroic size and give us big details that are easy to paint, um, yet still look incredibly detailed does that make sense like a lot of games nowadays when you're painting models for the game um i find anyway that the model if it if it's very de if it's a very detailed model the details are super tiny so in order to really make those models pop you have to get really really in there, you know what I mean? But with Power Ranger models from Renegade specifically, um, because they're slightly larger than other games, they're that what I call heroic scale. Um, because of that heroic scale, it really makes being able to paint those details easy. And then when you do, everything really, really pops. Um, you'll notice that I have not... Um, I have not switched brushes. I might switch in just a second to... As a matter of fact, I'm going to switch now. Um, so this is the first time I'm switching brushes. Everything that I've painted so far has been with the same size brush, which is crazy. Yeah, it definitely makes more sense that they're claw marks <laughs> instead of a lightning bolt. I mean, I wasn't going to question why why the dude's got a lightning bolt on his chest because, you know, if I could walk around with a lightning bolt on my chest, I would, but it does make a lot more sense. Um, so I'm switching down to a much smaller brush now. 
uh, to do the uh, the rest of these small details. Um, and again, these lines are pretty tiny, so if I stop talking, it's only because I'm not breathing. I'm holding my breath, hoping not to make a mistake. Uh, so if I go several mi minutes without talking, uh, it is because I have passed out from holding my breath, and someone should call 911. Okay. Actually, gonna take him off the painting stand because getting in these details with it on there is not simple. A group of modern-day teens gets transported back in time and must learn to survive. They have no phones. They have no internet. They have no chance. They are the Tomorrowland <laughs> people. Let's write it up. Call Steven Spielberg. Pit, let's pitch the idea. Uh, Tomorrowland is a place in Disney World. That's where I got the Tomorrowland from. Or at least it used to be a place in Disney World. I don't know if it's still there or not. I haven't been to Disney World in a while. This is by far the worst part of painting this model. These stripes. They are awful. I think it's just because of their location. Um, and I'm also trying to be very careful not to get silver anywhere that I don't want silver. I think that's that's that for that arm. Now I gotta do the other arm still. Isn't that Land of the Lost more or less? I don't know, I haven't seen Land of the Lost. Should I? Isn't Land of the Lost, like, isn't that like dinosaurs and stuff? Don't they like go like prehistoric?
That's the land before time. The dinosaurs. Oh. I know what land before time is. That's the one with little Bigfoot and Littlefoot and Petrie. And uh, Spike. What was the name of the little one that went, yep, yep, yep. What was his name? And Sarah was the Triceratops. Wow, I'm old as crap. Some of you guys are probably like, what the heck's the land before time? It had sharp tooth. Sharp tooth was the was the T Rex that killed the mama. Sarah was the Triceratops. Spike was the Stegosaurus. Petrie was the Pterodactyl. Littlefoot was the Brontosaurus or Brachiosaurus or whatever they're called. What the heck was the little frog thing's name? Somebody in the chat has to know. Ducky, thank you. It was Ducky. Ducky, man. They just don't make them like they used to, I tell ya. Yep, yep, yep. That's that's the only part I remember of of Ducky there. All right, so I got all the stripes and the silver stuff painted silver. That was kind of a nightmare. Not gonna lie. Um, and it's a little sloppy, but I'm okay with it for now. Uh, now I need to do the helmet. Uh, so I need a better picture of the helmet. I actually have a good picture. I just got to blow it up here. Um, okay. So, he has his brow is silver. His cheeks are silver. Oh, boy. This is going to be another one of those, like... <gasps> I don't know if this wraps all the way around his head. I think it does. So a silver line wraps all the way around the back of his helmet. Here. And the helmet's the most important part. So this is the part that I'm going to be the most careful with. Um, but if I do screw up, we can always uh, reapply the purple and start again. It's uh, awfully thick there. Right. I'm going to turn it upside down to do the uh, whiskers. Uh, that kind of worked out on one side. And then definitely going to need to touch this up with the purple paint, that's for sure.
Um, and then he also has lines under his eyes, too. And around the mouth. All right, I'm going to zoom in here so you guys can see what I'm doing. Um, Uh, so you can kind of see uh, it's pretty sloppy with the silver. Um, but that's all the parts that are silver. So now I can actually touch all of that up with the purple and the, uh, and the black. Or the German gray, I should say. Land of the Lost is of a family get into an incident that transports them back to prehistoric Earth. Was it a show or was it a movie? The voice actress of Ducky is a sad and dark backstory. Now I want to know. <laughs> All right. Well, I guess I'll have to uh look that up later. Um all right. So now I'm going to switch over to the white. Um this model is a lot more detailed than it looks, especially the helmet. The helmet is actually quite difficult because of the way that his fist is covering his face. It's really tough to get in there. Um, so I might have to leave that for now in the interest of time. 
Uh, I definitely need to get, at a minimum, I need to get the white done uh, for all these white outlines. So that's what I'm going to focus on next. And um, then we'll move move on from there. So I'm going to switch to all through and gray. That's going to be the uh, the white parts that I'm going to do. The only thing I don't like about these um, uh, pot toppers is um, if you haven't painted in a while, they are a little difficult to get off. Not terrible, just slightly. Um, so this step shouldn't be terrible. Uh, we'll see. I don't want to jinx it. Uh, we can use the edge of our brush like this to kind of go over the stripe. And uh, it should work out fairly well on the flat spots anyway. Um, and again, if we screw up, like I just did on the back of the leg there, uh, it's okay. We can tidy that up later. And we talked about we talked about the dark story. We didn't even talk about it. We just mentioned the dark story of little Ducky, and now everybody's super quiet. Either that, or everybody's gone to Google. They're not listening to me anymore. They're not watching me anymore. They've all gone to Google to type in the dark backstory of the Ducky voice actress. Which I don't blame you. If I was watching this stream, I would be doing the same thing. Much, probably much more interesting than uh, listening to me talk about uh, n nothing, really. <laughs> Just playing ME2. I don't know what ME2 is. <laughs> oh, Mass Effect. Uh, not something I ever got into. How about instead of teens, we switch it up to elderly people? 
So elderly people on their deathbed get visited by a genie. And the genie allows them 24 hours to go back to any time in their past and change it. And each episode follows a different person. And that's the Tomorrowland people. <laughs> Changing one thing about their past to affect their entire future. Ooh, I just dropped him. Man down. Man down. What's up, Alex? Welcome to my hot mess stream. Oh no. See? I'm getting purple all over the, or I'm getting white all over the purple. Come on now, Louie. Trying to do a little edge method here. A little edging with my paintbrush. And I'm just jacking it all up. Oh, don't worry. The first hour was all technical difficulties. So technically, if we would have uh, if we would have gotten everything right. I would have been done 40 minutes ago, so it's cool that you, uh, it's cool that you're here. I had to fix that purple there. It was going to drive me crazy. <laughs> Tale of the Monkey Paw. Man, this brush stinks. I don't like it. What is Tale of the Monkey Paw? I'll never understand why that story didn't end with them wishing the paw never existed and at least that they never brought or at least that they never brought it. Thank you Alex for the uh for the congratulations. Not quite there yet, but almost a couple more weeks.
brush keeps splitting while I'm doing this. So I'm having to keep my brush. I'm basically rotating my brush while the paint is coming off. That's some skill right there. If I do say so myself. Not to toot my own horn or anything, but that's pretty uh pretty tough stuff. All right. Um I just got to fix this collar. Oh, you know what? I'm going to Yeah, let me fix the collar real quick. Only got three days until my students are on vacation. We aren't on vacation until Silver on his right foot. Uh, no. I don't think so. Uh, I put the silver there on purpose. Um, I don't know if anybody is in the, um, I, I don't know why I'm announcing this now. I guess I probably should have announced it before. I don't know if anybody's on the, uh, in or near the state of Ohio, uh, but I will be there, uh, next weekend, uh, not this weekend, not Memorial Day weekend, but the following weekend. Uh, with the Circle of Nerds, the group that I am uh, a part of, which uh, I didn't mention that during this intro. I did the first intro before I got cut off and no one heard me. Um, we, the Circle of Nerds, will be in Sandusky, Ohio um, on uh, next weekend. Thursday, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. Um, attending and hosting a panel uh, at Kalahari called um, uh, for a convention called Colossal Con. Uh, so we go every year, uh, and when I say every year, we've gone. It was canceled last year, but we were there the year before that. Um, and that's kind of our thing. So uh, all of the circles of nerds, except for me, all live in Ohio. I'm the only one who doesn't. I live in Boston. Um, so once a year, I try and go there to uh, hang out with them and, uh, and do a thing. Next year, I'm hoping that they come here. Also, in addition to me going there um, and do PAX East Boston. Again, we were going to do that last year, got canceled. This year, got canceled. Hopefully next year will not get canceled. Uh, but Colossal Con is happening, and uh, I will be there. So um, maybe I will take a new model with me. And anybody who wants to meet up with me, I, I would probably have to get permission to do that. But... Um, Maybe you could see it. That would be super, super cool if I could do that. Um, is it Power Ranger related? If so, will it be live stream? It is not Power Ranger related. Uh, Colossal Con is primarily an anime convention. Not 100% an anime convention. Um, uh, but primarily, it, uh, it is an anime convention. We're not super into anime, but we are super into um, cosplay, and it's a big cosplaying event, 
uh, people come and dress as, uh, if you're unfamiliar, Kalahari is uh, a water park resort similar to Great Wolf Lodge. And uh, so the premise behind the convention is people come to the convention, dress up as their favorite characters as if their favorite characters were on vacation. So you see a lot of uh, anime characters in, you know, beach attire, swimwear, uh, vacation-y type stuff. Uh, for example, one of the days that we will be at the convention, uh, the three of us will be uh, cosplaying as, um, I don't want to ruin the surprise because I don't think we've announced it anywhere, uh, but we'll be cosplaying as um, three people that you've seen before in something <laughs> on vacation. So we won't be 100% screen accurate. We'll look like we're headed to the beach as those characters. So that's primarily why we like it as a convention. Uh, most of the panels and stuff are geared towards... Um, anime there are some i looked at the schedule there are a lot there's like a warhammer 40k painting thing if you're into cosplay there's a lot of cosplay uh style uh panels and stuff like that so uh super cool and very 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 laid back very fun convention um uh but no it will not be live streamed uh well the only way to meet you guys be at the con um I don't think we're going to do any other public appearances while I'm there, um, but that is TBD. Um, so right now I'm going to do a very thin outline of... <laughs> private appearance um yeah i mean we can talk offline maybe we can meet up um so when we're not in sandusky the majority of the people uh in the group live uh, in and around bay village uh outside of cleveland so if we are while we're not in sandusky at the convention that's where we'll be i really wish that my brush was not splitting right now really sucks uh i gotta switch brushes uh because i really want this outline of this uh this claw to look cool, so I'm actually going to paint back over it. Because um, my brush was splitting, which is not fun. Uh, the model's pretty much done with base colors. Uh, if we had more time, I would be highlighting the crap out of this guy. Um, But base colors are done. I don't know what I want to do for the for the base. I guess traditionally I would do all this down here in um, Bay Village. It's outside of, uh, I believe it's outside of Cleveland. I'm not from Ohio, so I'm not 100% sure. But a lot of my friends, uh, the Circle of Nerds, live in that area, so, uh, and I'll be staying with them. But I think we're going to, I think we're going to be in Sandusky from Wednesday. No, maybe not. It might actually be Thursday. Thursday the 2nd through... Don't touch that. Um, Thursday, well, actually, the second isn't Thursday. Thursday the third to whatever that Sunday is, I think. Again, don't quote me on that. Um, so, yeah, if you want to come see the Circle of Nerds, we'll be cosplaying. Uh, we'll be holding a panel, giving away prizes. 
and stuff at uh, Colossal Con next weekend. Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday in Sandusky, Ohio. Um, right now I'm just waiting on the, uh, I'm waiting on the chest piece thing to dry. So I'm just going to start down here on the base. Uh, when I'm done with the stream, I will of course, uh, post pictures over on the, uh, on the Facebook group. Uh, which will give you a better idea of the final paint job and how he turned out. Also realizing as I'm doing this that I normally paint the top of the uh, the top of the base black and not um, not German gray. I actually use black for that. <laughs> Is that anywhere near the UK? I told you earlier. Make a trip to Boston. Having a big retirement shindig in the beginning of the uh, first weekend in, uh, I guess it's actually the second weekend in July. Come on down. All right, let's see if I can do this without making a mess. I can already tell you that is not possible. How's that look? Is the final character in the Allies pack going to be revealed soon? Uh, I do not know when that reveal is happening. I don't know if the reveal is going to happen... Um, I, I know that there is, um, as of right now, I know that there is a planned convention, uh, probably virtual again in the month of July and, um, in the month of July, that's when I think that they're going to uh make some new announcements is the stream frozen yeah yeah, yeah. i'm not done sorry Some more purple. I need 
my purple pot. Where's my purple pot? Here it is. Uh, this is Xerxes Purple from Games Workshop. Technically, I know what's coming in the next 24 models after this guy. But I'd like to keep my job with Renegade. Alright, uh, I'm just going to let that, uh, that purple on the, uh, on the base dry for a quick second. Um, let me see if I can straighten this out real quick, my camera. Because right now you're looking at like an angled view. <laughs> Trying to give you a, uh, a straight on there. And there we go. Um, little uneven in the neck piece. I don't really like how that looks. Um, but other than that, came out pretty good. Um, I was pretty rushed for time because I wanted to get you as much content as I could in two hours uh, while still fighting through some technical difficulties, getting some cameras set up in the beginning. Uh, I do sincerely apologize for whatever issues that was in the beginning. Um, it's super disheartening because, again, I lost all my settings. So even for, like, my recorded videos, all my graphics, everything completely gone. So... I'm going to spend some time setting all that up again, uh, which is incredibly annoying, but, you know, it is what it is. Um, what do you put on the bottom of the model so the base isn't being clamped? Uh, blue tack, just the stuff that you get uh, at the, any store, really. Uh, Walmart, uh, Target, all that good stuff. Um... I don't know if there's anything I can do to fix that. That white. Give me one second. Let me... I really hate how that shoulder part looks right there. And I just got purple on my hands. Thank you, model. Um... It's uh, it's working. Give me one one more second. It's looking a lot better already. Yeah. 
Yeah, that looks a lot better. So this part right here, um, right there, that was white. And I just painted it black to make the next seal look a little closer. And uh, it makes it look a lot better. Uh, so yeah, I'm going to uh, let the purple dry on the base. I will finish that off screen. Uh, I will take a picture, and then I will make sure to get those uploaded. I appreciate everybody's patience today. Uh, this was, uh, we had a rough start, but I think we had a nice finish. Uh, I'm really happy with, uh, with the color. I like that purple a lot, and uh, I think he turned out super, super cool. Uh, I appreciate you guys. I appreciate Renegade. Uh, I thank them. Every time I come on stream, when I start and when I finish, because I want everybody to know how appreciative I am to be here with you guys. Uh, you could be anywhere else in the world, watching anything else, listening to somebody else, uh, and you choose to hang out with me. And uh, you have no idea what that means to me. And uh, I definitely couldn't do it without you guys watching and uh, Renegade uh, for letting me, uh, letting me do it. So I appreciate you guys. Uh, I hope that you enjoy... Uh, the remainder of your day, evening, night, whatever, wherever you're at. And uh, I will see you guys next time. And remember to play your games. And uh, I'll talk to you guys soon.